Hello everyone, Reptrix here, and uh, today, like I mentioned last episode, we're going to be setting up our quarry and uh, start doing that, actually, get some uh, food here, perfect. Um, let's see, now, what I do notice here is that I want to go up that direction, that's where I see land on the minimap, and um, actually somebody mentioned in the, the comments in the previous episode that um, you can set up the minimap options, uh, environmental terrain depth. This is enabled. Huh. I don't want to see slime chunks or chunk grid. Surface biome. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Okay. Didn't know you could do that. Surface biome. Mm, that point. I do want that enabled. I forgot to fix that after I reverted back to the. Back to 3.1.2. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where to go here. Marker points, not that. Minimap options, maybe here. Texture. Um, large map label, no. Map. Alright, not really sure where to look for here. Just, uh, s some random comment I read. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to look into that later. But yeah, now what I want to do here is actually dig up an area for the quarry. But first we will need to make some uh, landmarks. And for that we need to make um, actually a few more st sticks here. So, yeah. Let's grab those. A few sticks, a few redstone. Oh, I need to upgrade my redstone here soon. I need to find more. Hopefully the the quarry will pick up a lot of redstone because I'm kind of short here. So yeah, to make the landmarks you need uh, lapis. I put that on top of the redstone and mix the landmarks. Now you need four, one for every corner. So yeah, hold on, let me put this in the chest here. Or against my inventory a little bit. I have a bunch of other random stuff in here. But yeah, um, let's see what else I need. Uh, I have my redstone torch, my landmark here. I will need more um, more pipes, but I'll do that later. So, I want to get started here. I want to actually go straight in from here. I want to have a nice distance f away from here, but I don't want to make it too far out because I have to pump all this stuff back in and I don't want to waste too, too much, uh, uh, how do I say this? Uh, yeah, pipe. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. Okay, so first I want to put a redstone torch, and I'll explain that why. And it's because I don't need an axe right now. If we put a redstone and then you put a landmark, it will expand the landmark signal pretty much maximum size. And what that means is 64 by 64. Now, I don't intend to make a 64 by 64 um quarry right now because I don't have the power to run a 64 by 64 quarry but I will make a, a, a decent sized quarry here so I just want to be able to see where the see like that that's not what I want to do you know what oh well um yeah I want to go a few blocks out and then do the same thing I just did here and pretty much it will pan out uh, Crap, great. Right, some dirt here, that's as far as I want to go. Does it look alright? Um, yeah, I'll make it long. Oh, no, I won't make it as wide. Or will I? Yeah, I'll make it a little bit wider. I thought I was coming up to the surface, that's why I, want, I didn't want to go too far. Alright, that's big enough. Now, I'll put another redstone. Make sure you put the redstone before you put the landmark. And there you go. It's a little tricky here to grab the landmark back. All right, I'm just gonna leave that for now. So I'm gonna go out. And I'll say, <coughs> sorry, about here. Let's get a torch in here. This will all probably drop as soon as that the structure goes up. Yeah, that looks about right. I'm just gonna put the 
another redstone torch here a landmark here there you go so now what I want to do here is actually look f for the point where that whole thing crosses pretty much as you can see here I can see the line of the of the landmark and I should find the other one soon hopefully Uh, oh, there, here we go. That's where the two landmarks cross, and that's why it's so useful to use the redstone torch with the landmark. So I'm gonna grab that because I don't need a torch right now. There you go. The other one's over there, and I'll just set up the quarry here. Oh, that was my fault. My fault. You have to right-click on the on the torch itself to mark it out. There you go. Now, when you see that red line that's when the area is marked out and uh, yeah now now you put down the the quarry there you go that's what I was looking for I need an area here to go around just put another torch here pick up all the stuff that left around uh, it's a little bit tricky to grab the the redstone torch so there you go it's hard to select it you have to see the little outline around the torch It's a bit annoying. There you go. That's one way to take it off. Alright, so I'm just going to leave that for there. Now, I need to power this. What I need to power here, though, is probably... Um, let's see... <laughs> Didn't, I for completely forgot about the cables I'm going to need to power that thing. What I could do is just put some steam engines for now and uh, power with coal until I can make a better power system with a... Uh yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to set up some steam engines. Now, to make steam engines here, because that, that generator there is not quite as good because then you have to put a... Uh, you have to get an energy link set up and all that other fun stuff. So, what I want to do here is actually just set up a steam engines. I'll probably make two of those. That should be good enough in the beginning. Won't be as quick as a uh, as the demonstration in the tutorial series, but uh this will be good enough for now. Now I need to make some more pistons. Man, I hate those. Actually now that I have the the condenser I can make a few of those. Let's get some redstone. I have some iron in my inventory. Some wood. Do I have wood? Yes I do. Alright make a few of those all right let's see if I remember correctly how to make it a uh, couple stone sides iron in the middle there and then planks is that how it is yep perfect all right I'm just gonna grab one of these because these have EMC value no oh, crap that's not what I wanted to do oh, great see here. Alright, I have to revert everything back to iron and goods. Alright, but so let's make a few pistons here. I'm gonna grab some nickelite that I have. It's a great to have a quite a, a bit of a EFC as you can see here. 14 pistons for now. I just gotta make sure that I don't um, run out of pistons here. So I have some wooden gears. I need to make these into stone gears with some uh, cobblestone. Um, let's see, two engines, two gears per engine, so I need four of these. Go. Crap. Okay, well, that happened. Forgot I had the gears in here and some stone. Oh well. Stone gears and glass. a bit here. I'm going to grab and take it downstairs actually because I need it for quite a few items. So let's get the, gla the glass in here. Stone, cobblestone. I believe that's all I need here. So I'm going to make two. Okay, I'm going to put the pistons here to save. I don't want to make too many of these. Nice little Minecraft music going on in the background. Cobblestone. There you go. Perfect. Two steam engines. 
Now I will need a lot of coal for these. So I'm actually gonna grab a full stack, split them up in two. But first, I need to get a. Let's see. I want to make it run above me for the pipes. So yeah, let's see. Put it in the chest there. So I need a big chest actually. Now I think about it. So let's make a a double chest for now. I should upgrade directly to iron chest. Yeah, that should probably be best. So I'm gonna grab two of these. Make a regular chest. And then you recover these chests in iron, then you can make an iron chest, and they have the same capacity as a, as a double wooden chest. Now it doesn't really make much sense since the EMC is a lot higher, but uh, these can be easily upgraded later to gold chest, uh, diamond chest, and crystal chest, and all that fun stuff. So um, I just noticed I didn't pick up the I'm not sure you're gonna sleep. Gotta leave it there actually. Oh wait, that was dumb. <laughs> I forget that you can't. Uh, unless you have a. Okay, that'll work. Let's make a. What do I have here? Cobblestone transport pipes. That won't be enough. So that's why I have uh, some extra glass here. Should be enough now. Wait, I almost made the same mistake again. Alright, 30 pipes, that's more than enough. Or well, I think it will be. Alright, so let's do that now. Get that around here, into our chest. Now, this is not the best of setups right now. It could be a lot better, more automated, but for now, this will have to do. Because my resources are a little low and I just want to get this uh, quarry going as fast as possible. So I got these going. I split my charcoal here. And I forget to make levers. I need sticks, stone. Do have a couple stone here. Let's make some sticks. There you go. Alright, now set this up here, set this up here, turn those on. Perfect, that's going. And there is the frame going up. Uh, it's not the quickest of processes, but um, it would just have to do for now um, until I get a better um, energy system set up. I was thinking of making maybe a geothermal generator, but. Um, I don't have any lava around here. I'll look into maybe making another portal and pumping some uh, lava from there. I haven't, I haven't I actually never really tried that myself with uh, pumping lava from the nether. Or I'll just wait until I get some decent resources from here and start making some solar panels. And I'll need to upgrade my storage capabilities here with the bat box upgrade to MFE and all that fun stuff actually here this kind of low let's put some charcoal in here oh, okay charcoal doesn't work that's was I trying to put that in the bat box oh, Jesus well <laughs> that's what I get all right so this is back to work and actually I should put more more in there and that's why I mentioned that coal is gonna go by really quick as you can see here it has gone pretty quick I'll just wait until that charcoal runs out actually uh, let's see what's making on in there so gold still going through how's this advancing alright now I'm just gonna actually leave it here until now I'll look into the making another portal getting some glowstone all that fun stuff and maybe even pumping some uh, lava back into here a geothermal generator or maybe just uh, a few tanks make a couple tanks and uh, then pump it to a geothermal generator and get some uh, decent power going 
so I can uh, maybe start over overclocking these machines. So yeah, and uh, until next time, bye.